And there in lane one, you see Isabel Gormley from Asphalt Green. Two, Sinead Eckstein from Nation's Capital Swim Club. Three is Katie Mack. We've seen plenty of her this weekend from Nation's Capital. And we've seen a lot of Phoebe Bacon. She is your top seed at 156.71. She was fourth at U.S. Nationals last week in the 100 back, just 15 years old. 200s something she's developing into. We'll let Jason talk about that a little more because he knows how, he, he, he's around at some of her practices. He knows how this stuff works. That's Danny Jine there in lane six. In lane seven is Megan Lee from, those are both from Eagles swim team. Izzy Gotti's in seven for NCAP and Chase Travis, again, just out, out of that uh, 200 back. You see her in lane eight. It'll be interesting to see how Phoebe Bacon swims this race here. In, in the morning, she was 157.61, and her tempo kind of progressed and got a little faster as the race went on. She started out 1718 tempo and then got down to 1615 as, as the race went on. So, Information you can only find from Jason. <laughs> right. Well, I just had the I had the opportunity to watch the prelims this morning uh, race this morning. I was on deck. I was in uh, bed coaching yeah. at eight thirty. <laughs> just saying, out in twenty six eight. So, what is the strategy for her as far as being a sprint oriented swimmer moving up to the two hundred? You know, she's like we mentioned earlier, and I'm sure she mentioned this in the interview you had uh, with her earlier Shameless today. Shameless plug. That's also on can, swimmingworld .com. Right. <laughs> uh, that she's still learning how to swim this and learn how to stay relaxed the first 100 because you're right, she does have that speed and that power in the 100 backstroke. Um, we saw that at Nationals and, and in a relay last night. Um, but, yeah, she's just learning how to, how to get faster and be better as the race goes on. She's got great underwater, so learning how to utilize those and be smart with those is something she's working on. And she's getting better every time she swims it. She might not get faster every time she swims it, but she gets better at it. That's a good point. She gets better even if she doesn't get faster. She's out 55.82. Mack at 56.55 is second. And Bacon now extending her lead on this third 50. She's been kind of all over the place, swimming a lot of different events this weekend, but getting back to her backstroke roots here as she turns for the final 50, 125.68. So should be quite a bit faster than she was this morning, unless yeah. a disaster happens. Yeah, if she throws down a good, another 29, she could get into 154s, and she, her best time's uh, 154 and change. So if she gets close to that, that'd be really good. And this is her only race tonight. She's not swimming the 100 free later, so she should give it all here on this last 25. From my experience, it's easier to get really into a race when you know it's your last race. Exactly. And she's having a great one here. Look at this, 154.98 for Phoebe Bacon. Home in a 29.3. That was just a, a spectacular race. Is that her best time? Uh, no, she's been a little bit faster 154. I think Still she's 154.6 is her best time. 154.98 for Bacon. Second was Mac and third was